Hey guys, it's Josh from Apt, and I'm here to help you out setting up your new Airport Express base station. Airport Express has got a blinking amber light, which means it needs some help. It's got a problem, it's not set up. If it was solid amber, we'd see that when it's booting up, and our goal is solid green. It's a simple process. I got an iOS device here in my hand, in this case an iPod, but you could use your iPhone or your iPad. Just go to settings. In your settings, go to Wi-Fi. Now here I'm already connected to a network, but that's somewhat irrelevant. Scroll down and you will see the option to set up a new airport base station. I'm going to select that. Now Airport Express can be used a variety of ways. I could extend a network. I could extend it wirelessly or wired, creating a roaming network. Uh, there's really a handful of options. So once it logs into the settings, it's going to ask me how do I want to set up my Airport Express. Little delay. Delays can vary, so we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. So we've got the option to extend this network and uh, it identified the fact that my home router is an Airport Extreme base station and I could choose to extend this network. Now if you wanted to extend your network, just remember that's doing it wirelessly. If you're able to run a, a CAT5 or CAT6 from your router to the Express, that's the best way to extend it. And that would not be, ex you would not choose to extend this network, you're going to create a network. But that's a different, that's a different story for a different video here. So, I'm going to say other options. Let's pretend my Airport Express is my only wireless router. In which case, if I have a small location, a small one bedroom, two bedroom house, condo, things like that, apartments, Airport Express could serve as a great method of creating Wi-Fi in your house. I can go ahead and create a new network. In which case, I would give it a, a full name and network ID and so forth. I could add it to an existing network, like if I wanted to make use of the headphone jack to run the audio out, and I already have an internet signal in my house, but I want my Airport Express to join that network and then connect to a, a sound system, a receiver. Uh, if I want, I could plug in a printer to the USB port on the back, in which case those devices will now be on my existing network. So you could choose that. In fact, let's go ahead and add it to my existing network. My network is called Home, and I have a password to my wireless network. So now it's going to ask me to enter my password. Oh, actually, this device set up my, my home network, so it already knows my password, I bet. But if, if it's a, a new device and you've never used this iPod, for example, to set up your network, it's going to ask you to re-enter the password. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and join. It's, it looks like it's going to set up to extend my existing network. I'm going to hit Next, in which case it's joining it and extending it and it's kind of all part of the same picture. So I can still connect my, my printer, my other devices. Once it's set, as you'll notice, it has an amber light. Amber light means I'm rebooting. We want that amber light to switch to green. Solid green is our goal. And our Airport Express has joined our Airport Extremes network. So let's see what happens. It should happen in a few seconds now or we've got problems. In this case, we did it. We're done setting up our Airport Express. I've got a green light. I, it says here, setup complete. I choose done, and I've connected to my main network. If I wanted to, I could jump over to Airport Utility, and now it shows I have two devices here. And I could access the settings of each device if I wanted to. And that's all you gotta do to set up your Airport Express. It's a pretty simple process. Again, there's many ways you could set it up. You could have created a network name, gave it a password, and this could be your only router in the house. Or like we just did now, we're, we're joining an existing network. It's going to help to extend it. Uh, keep in mind that it pretty much only extends Apple wireless routers like Extremes or Time Capsules. It's not going to do that great of a job extending your, your other brand routers. So simple process. We've got a lot of great how-to videos on app.com that will show you more Apple networking tools and, and helpful uh, ways for you to get a better Wi-Fi in your house.